Okay, so what we're looking at, this is um, fifth grade, lesson 66. And this lesson is on reading a centimeter scale. Now, what I want you to do, or what I want you to see, is I've pretended, and I've taken like a magnifying glass and zoomed up on this, okay? I want you to see a real centimeter and how long it is. Do you see that? From here to here is one centimeter. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, but up here, see how big I've made the centimeter? Now, I did that because if I drew how small a centimeter is, that's hard for you to see, yeah. right? And then also to then add a bunch of different lines in the middle, okay? So I magnified it for the board's sake. Okay. But it's really only about that big. Okay. Okay? Now, what I want you to see is this, okay? Um, if I drew a line... from here to the beginning of this ruler and drew it all the way. I'm actually going to use a different color. I think that'll help. Let's do red. Starting from here and drawing it all the way to right there. Okay? And I asked you how long is that line? Let's do the millimeters first. How long is this line? Now, as you can see, how many millimeters is one centimeter? Uh, how, like one centimeter is equals how many millimeters? 1,000, right? Look, 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 look. 30? What? One centimeter equals how many millimeters? 10. Uh-huh. Two centimeters equals how many millimeters? 20. Okay. Now, remember the rule from last lesson? We we're talking about one meter is the same thing as 10 decimeters, which is the same thing as 100 centimeters, which is the same thing as 1,000 millimeters, okay? That's when we are saying one meter, okay? But what we're happening to these zeros each time? It's gaining one. It's gaining one. So if we were to start with centimeters, one centimeter, and I went down, how many millimeters would that be? See what's happening? Would be... See what's happening to the zeros as I move down? I'm adding more, right? Yeah. So instead of me saying 100 centimeters, because we're not talking about meters now, we're not even looking at these two. Instead of it being 100 centimeters, I'm going to say it's one centimeter. What am I doing? I added a zero as I move down. So one centimeter equals how many millimeters? So one centimeter, 10. 10. Okay, do you see how it works each time? Yeah. Okay, so if I start at this one and I say that that's one centimeter, then I would just add a zero. If I started up here and I moved down, I would keep adding zeros depending on what I'm asking. Okay, so now just stay with me. So one centimeter equals 10 millimeters, okay? So I've drawn that. One centimeter equals 10 millimeters. Okay. Okay, now. Tell me how many in millimeters is this line? 30. Almost. Here's what, 30. What do you mean? How long is this red line? Oh, uh, I thought you meant the whole red line. Uh, 20 something. Okay. Well, what would halfway be from 20 to 30? 25. 25. So, wait, stay with me. This would be 25. Did it reach 25? So it would be 24. So it's 24. So I'm going to say that it's 24 millimeters. But look up here. Okay? okay. Now, I want to draw something to help you out. Okay? So just a moment. I've got to draw something. Stay with me. This red line is how long in centimeters if it's right here? 2.4. 2.4. Great job. You're exactly right. Okay? So, 
Do you understand sort of? I understand of? it. It's pretty cool, huh? That's awesome. Okay, so now let me ask you this, all right? If I were to, let me just, can, do you understand that? So let me, let's do another one. Let's do, uh, let's do one more. We'll stop right there. Okay, how long in millimeters is this red line? In millimeters. Okay. So 10. Will be 15, 15, 13, 13, 13 millimeters. Okay, so again, I'm going to draw my lines up here to help us out. Okay, this would be half, one and a half, 1.5. Okay, but our red line is right here. In that spot. So what would it be? 1.3. 1.3. 1 1.3 1 what? Centimeters. Very good. Feel like you understand it? Yeah. All right. Last thing. Now we're going to draw a whole different line, and we're not even talking about d d centimeters or millimeters or anything like that. So draw this line with me on your paper. Okay. Okay. And I want you to write a three here and a four pretty wide away from there. Okay, three, here, four. Okay. Okay, don't worry about writing this on your paper because it's gonna be hard to, so just hold up right there for just a minute and just watch me okay. and then we'll do it, okay? Now. Remember me teaching you, it's been a while now, but I asked you what was the most important thing to remember when you're going from one number to the next number? Is to count how many jumps or ticks, remember that, are in between each number. Do you remember that, me telling you that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is zoomed up too. So this is zoomed up. Okay, so ready? Count with me how many jumps there are or units there are from three to four. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten jumps from three to four. Okay. okay. Now, if I were to put a dot right there and I asked you to tell me how long or is this centimeters or millimeters? It's not anything. Okay. Okay. But you're just doing numbers on a line. Okay, this is something kind of, they kind of, it kind of is the same thing, but it's kind of not. Okay, so just stay with me for yeah. a minute. Okay, so if we're writing this in fraction form, tell me what it be. What would it be? How far is this dot down the line? So it's on the 10, 9, 8, 7. It's on the 7th spot out of how many? Out of 10. Okay. So it would be so, 7 out of 10. Uh-huh, but... It's not just 7 out of 10, it's, we're, we're pretending like this was a line oh. all the way back. And the back here would be um, 0, 1, 2, we've already passed. So yeah. how long is this line? It's pretty long. Has it reached 4 yet? No. No? Has so it reached it, 3? Yes. So it's 3 and some amount. Yeah. Okay? So it's 3 and... Seven spots out of, ten. out of ten. Do you feel like you understand that? Yes. Okay. Now, if you were to write that, I want to show you something. How we would write it is this. Do you remember me telling you that this is a whole number and this is a fraction? Yes. Okay. If I was to make this into a decimal number. Okay. Okay. Do you remember that all the things that are this way are ones, tens, hundreds, thousands? Okay. And all the These would all way. be whole numbers. Yeah. Anything on this side are fractions of it. It'll be 
like th. Yes, like, all the ths. This would be tenths. This would be hundredths. hundredths. This would be thousandths. thousandths. This would be ten thousandths. Okay. Now, because this is in the tenth spot, Eli. Okay. This would be a fraction that has a ten on the bottom. So you get that, sort of, because we're talking about tenths. Yes. Tenths. Hundredths. This would be for something that had a fraction on the bottom of that of a hundred. Isn't that cool? Okay, yeah. This would be something that have a fraction of a thousand with a number on top of it. Okay? Yeah. I so because it. this is seven tenths, where would it belong? In which of these spots? It'd be in the tenths. Yes, in the tenth spot. So watch what happens. I'm going to put a seven there. Uh, do I have hundreds or thousands to work with? Mm -hmm. Nope. So we don't do anything of those. Okay? But what is my whole number? Three. So I'm going to put it on the left side, which are all my whole numbers. Okay. It doesn't have tens or hundreds. This is just three pies be like three dollars right yeah over here would be like twenty dollars and you see what i'm saying these would be tens but this isn't 23 and seven tenths it's just three so i put my three here because there's yeah. three whole pies do you understand this may be a little deep that's why i was talking about earlier this is yeah. what i teach my seventh eighth graders okay but do you understand it yes that right. this oh. is the same thing as that, this is a fraction, mixed number form, this is a decimal form. They both are the same thing. This was just written as a decimal number. This one's written as a fraction and whole number, a mixed number. Got it? Okay. And the reason why we knew that there were 10 is because we counted. Yeah. Okay. So this is like visual. This is, yes. Uh-huh. Do you feel like you understand it? Yes. All right.